<laughs> Mouth. This video is not a comedy video. It is actually meant to be a public service announcement slash warning video about an Etsy seller known as Kion Lee Store. I've had the displeasure of experiencing them for the past four months ever since I placed an order for a Justice League bat suit during the month of May. It is now mid-September and I received confirmation that the suit is not arriving to me. Despite many months of me reaching out to them and many months of them being non-responsive. And also, I received quite a bit of rudeness from them, as well as just excuse after excuse. It is by far the worst buying experience I've ever been through. So if you're a cosplayer, or if you're a prospective buyer, just in general looking for a Batman costume or any type of uh, proper costume, stay away from Kion Lee store. So my experience is trying to communicate with them about my concerns and my questions regarding my order. It would take anywhere from four days to several weeks to even hear back from them about it. And then I had to take matters into my own hands after I realized that the suit may not arrive in time for different um, local events, different comic cons that I was scheduled to attend. I wanted to be Batman for these events, so I had to file a claim uh, with Etsy um, against this seller. And lo and behold, the seller wasn't even aware of the case until I sent them repeated follow-up messages inquiring about the status of my suit and even informing them that they had a case against them from me. And I told them, hey, at this juncture, it is up to you taking this next course of action. How am I going to review you? It's up to you to decide, Kai on Lee's store. I let them know, your next course of action will dictate whether you receive a positive review or a negative review for my subscribers, my follower base. And they took that, they got defensive. They said, they thought that that was a threat. No, not a threat whatsoever. It's my duty if I'm having a negative experience. I want to let other cosplayers know. I want no one else in the community to deal with the frustrations that I've been through because of you, Kai on Lee. It's unacceptable, your lack of professionalism. So, after a few more follow-up emails at this point, they supposedly wrapped up, or began working to wrap up my Justice League costume, and they claimed to have shipped it out at the end of August. And I said, okay, great, well, where's the shipping number? Uh, where's the tracking number from you? Um, delay, delay, delay. And then I had to get a little firmer with them. Hey, as a reminder, you know, this will reflect, reflect negatively on my review if, you're, if you fail to provide this tracking number, if I'm completely in the dark about the whereabouts of my um, suit, and, you know, they said essentially the same thing. Oh, what? Why? Why are you threatening us? <laughs> what the heck? Like, if you produce the suit on time and supply all the required information as sellers normally do, you would not receive that firmness from myself or I'm sure other buyers in the same boat getting frustrated with you now. But get this, so they came up with this excuse, not providing me with the tracking number at that time. The seller told me she needed to sleep. I need to sleep! That's why I can't send you the number at this time! BS excuse. It was pathetic. Lack of professionalism at its finest there. I don't care that you needed to sleep. I lost sleep many nights these past four months worrying if my suit would arrive on time. Delay after delay. That stresses you out. That would stress any buyer out. So quite frankly, I don't care if you needed to sleep. You can wait several minutes. Get me that tracking number and then go to sleep. I don't care if you're behind on your orders. Oh, this is also their excuse. So the reason why they supposedly couldn't respond to uh, my inquiries was because of their increased volume of orders that they had to process. Um, well, if you can't handle the volume of orders, perhaps you should seize operations, um, taking new orders at that time to let you play catch up a little bit, or perhaps you shouldn't even be in this business. If you can't handle orders, finishing them on time, and then responding in a timely manner to your buyers, you have no business producing these products in this market. Absolutely not. That's poor customer service. So then Hurricane Irma hit, so I was concerned, like, okay, what if the package was um, damaged possibly during the storm or, you know, in transit and wiped away by the storm? 
So I followed up with the seller again, Kyan Lee. Where's this, where's this updated tracking number? This tracking number hasn't been updated in the past week and a half or so. And then they tell me that they made some error with customs when they initially shipped it out. And they weren't aware of some policies. Um, hello? You're a seller. It's your obligation to be aware of any and all customs policies to prohibit any single specific delay from occurring. And then they said, oh, DHL will be your local carrier after it gets past uh, Cor Coordinadora. Yeah, that's the Colombian shipping company or logistics company. So me, I followed up multiple times without no response. Big freaking surprise. And they failed to produce a DHL, DHL tracking number. Oh, and get this too. So I requested from them photos and a video of my final product, which they failed to provide. So it's my inkling that they just probably never even finished the product. They probably tried shipping some senseless item in place of my bad suit, for all I know. And then probably had some receipt just to close, help close out the Etsy um, case. Oh, and then get this. So after they failed to provide me with a DHL, DHL tracking number, then I had to escalate a case. I had to create a case um, in PayPal. Because I was pissed off at this time. I have some other events coming up this month, like Batman Day. I have another Comic Con that I'm going to. And still no sign of the bat suit. I had no idea where the whereabouts of this bat suit were. So yeah, I demanded a refund for shipping at that time because why pay expedited shipping if the suit is two months? late at that point. And then from the supposed date that it shipped at the end of August, it had already been two weeks, over two weeks. So what's the purpose of paying that expedite shipping? Made no sense. And then they were like, oh, they threw a, they threw a fit again, like, oh, you're always uh, threatening with these uh, situations, cases, um, telling your subscriber base about this. Uh, duh, again, looking out for the community. We want to single out bad apples like you. Nip them in the butt. And you know, with your lack of progress, you know, it's my duty at this point to let other people know. And then this morning, I woke up to a message um, on PayPal that I had a full refund from Kai and Lee's store. And I found a message from them as well that my package was evidently lost that was sent out two weeks ago at this time. I messaged them back, you know, I still wanted the suit, like, you know, what gives with this? Um, but at the same time, I was a little relieved, I admit, because I don't have to deal with uh, them ever again moving forward. Uh, but it's just... Hold on, let me allow it to refocus. <laughs> it's getting a little excited there. We good? Alright, we're good. <laughs> um, but it is frustrating. Not reaping the reward of all these months of just reaching out to them. I have nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for all those messages and just all that attempted communication these past four months. So that's why I'm recording this video for you guys. Be aware, beware of Kai and Lee's store. Because they are highly incompetent, they lack communication skills, and they are rude, okay? They've been rude to me and rude to other buyers. I have a friend who ordered a Wonder Woman costume from them and they kept blaming her for their issues, that, um, the complaints that she brought forward to them. And all of them were valid complaints. The, the suit was over four weeks late to her. They neglected to provide her with essential information as well. And then the suit arrived to her, thankfully. Uh, but unfortunately, it had many flaws. Um, one of the flaws being that the corset didn't close. So she brought the measurements to them, like, why didn't you stick to these measurements I provided? And then Kyan Lee responded to her and said, We did, in fact, uh, stick to your measurements. Like, your measurements must have been wrong, and we investigated your Instagram page. You, and they even had the gall to tell her that she doesn't look like her measurements based on her photos. How ridiculous. How rude. Buyers like her, they are aware of their own measurements. We take the time to provide these correct measurements. We want the suit customized to fit to fit us you know pretty flawlessly and for you to not live up to that uh, perfect ideal for you to have flaws in the, the Wonder Woman suit for it not to fit and for it to not be finished in other parts that she mentioned 
or for you to even fail to produce a product like the Justice League Batsuit for me is completely unacceptable. Not a good standard whatsoever. Not whatsoever. So my advice to you, to any prospective buyer, to any cosplayer out there, if you encounter Kai and Lee's store, stay far away from them. Because you're going to get nothing but rudeness, broken promises, excuses, and lack of communication across the board. It'll save you a whole lot of frustration if you never deal with them.